Monday, 30th March, 2020. God cares about you. 1 Peter 5, 7-8 KJV. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. 8 Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Someone could be honestly asking does God really care? Take a look at all this that is happening in the world, infections and loss of lives. The whole world is on lockdown and some people don't have the means to fend for themselves due to poverty and they survive from handouts some from hand to mouth. When you are walking and you see an old man carrying something that you are convinced that is heavy and you offer to help the man. For some reason not known to you, he insists that he is okay and carry his staff and does not need assistance. Maybe the old man had a pride of some kind and didn't want to appear as though he could not handle his challenge. He probably takes pride in saying I did it myself and I didn't ask anyone for help. We cannot say that you did not care enough to help the old man because you offered and the offer was declined. The same is true with us today we have so much pride that we never consult God with our issues for him to help us. When last did you call on God to assist you? Have you ever gone to God and said, Lord, I am worried about this and that? Or there are some issues you think that this is beyond God? Guess what it is the will of God for you to do well in every area of your life. Unfortunately, you can't do it on your own. You need divine assistance. The only way you are going to get divine assistance is when you humble yourself before God and say, Lord, I can't do it on my own. Please help me. Casting your cares of Jesus Christ is the highest level of humility because you are acknowledging that you need God in your life. Some people have become their on gods that's why they would rather die when they fail. They have set a standard too high for themselves to achieve it they need divine assistance but not humble enough to admit. Some people are embarrassed to say a prayer calling out on the Lord for assistance. Have you ever taken time to pray about a simple thing in your life, your relationship with your spouse, if married or future spouse, whether in a relationship or not? If you can't trust God to help you in things to do with your soul, how are you going to trust him with anything else? Humble yourself and cast your emotional life into the hands of God. Take time to pray for your partner and also make time to pray together. God cares about your emotional life. He wants you to have a healthy relationship that will facilitate the will of God for you on the earth. Your partner is meant to help you do the will of God for your life on the earth. Their job is to challenge you to become a better person and motivate you to enforce the purpose of God on the earth. Have you tried every trick in the book but you seem not to be making headway in your financial life? You probably grew up hearing that money is the root of all evil which is a misquote of scripture. It actually says the love of money when money takes the place of God in your life. Money is an instrument that one can use for the advancement of the kingdom of God or the kingdom of darkness. If your money is to grow the kingdom of God, then God is interested in making you an economic success. No matter what your situation is, trust that God cares and is willing to assist you. There are no issues that are small and silly before God bring it as it is and trust that you will obtain mercy and grace for the time of need. For God gives grace to the humble and resist the proud. Are you stressed about your health? Are you fearing that you might get infected by the deadly coronavirus which has terrorized the whole world? Cast your health care on Jesus Christ for he careth for you. Jesus Christ wants you healthy so that you can be able to carry out his plans on the earth. So if Jesus wants you healthy there is no need to stress because it is the will of God for you to be healthy. Message from Stanley Kujoker, a pastor. HPMI Arcadia Mega Church plus 2637741313396. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Stanley Kujokura.